Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you are new, welcome. My name is Jen. So today we are planning for the month of April and I pulled a couple sticker books um, that I'm going to go through today. So I've got four different ones. Happy quotes, happy year, choose happy, and our color story four. I don't know if we'll use them all, but we will see how things go. So here we are in April. Um, well, in coming April, I should say. I can't believe that we're already this far into the year. It seems crazy, but let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the color story four. Now I wanted to go through this book and just see if there was anything that I could kind of match colors with. Um, as you can see, I just opened up my happy year and I knew that there was some spring kind of stickers that I wanted to base this spread off of. So I found this little bucket list or spring bucket list. I wasn't really sure where I wanted to put it at first, but I think that it should fit along the end here. It was one of those days where every little crooked sticker I had to fix, so bear with me. Um, I was looking at this little tiny quote on the bottom and I wasn't sure if I wanted to cover it or not, so we'll see what happens. Uh, it did end up going over it a little bit, but I kind of think it worked out. I think what I'm going to do is I tried to find something to kind of go underneath that or I was looking for a little something to go underneath it. Ended up finding these little flowers that are super cute. So you'll see me go ahead and kind of put that flower underneath to kind of cover everything up. There you go. And that seemed to work out okay for what I was doing, so I decided to just leave it there. Take my little X-Acto knife and I'll just cut off the end of the leaves just so that they... I don't have to fold them over and they aren't, um, like, sticking off. And then you know me, I don't waste a lot, so I just put this little leaf that I cut off just on the other side there, so it looks like it's peeking out. I thought that was a really cute start to the spread. I am doing a voiceover today because um, there was a lot of noise going on around, so I figured I still wanted to get it filmed and I could do my voiceover after. So here we are. So next I'm just looking for a couple of quotes to put around. Um, there is some blank space in the corner. So I went ahead and attached this little patterned sticker. It says, actually you can. Um, you'll see throughout this spread, I did choose a lot of motivational kind of quotes, which I feel like although it's becoming spring, there's still a couple of colder days and things are not quite there yet, so we <laughs> need some motivation to get us going. I love the color of these lavender flowers. I think they're so beautiful. And there's just something about this color scheme. And of course, because the outline of this is already like the purpley pink pastels, I just felt like this worked so well together, so beautifully. So. There's that. <laughs> so April for me is a um, pretty busy month with birthdays. I do have a couple very special birthdays. And um, this year with it being post COVID, I'm hoping that we can actually get out and do something for um, my husband's birthday this year. Our birthdays are a month apart, um, a little over a month apart. So it's always hard to kind of plan back to back because we do have a lot of mutual friends. Um, so I always, always feel bad for making them, you know, come out 
twice in a month. Although I know it's a month apart and that's totally fine, but it's hard to make a plan and then plan something right after. But we will definitely see what I can come up with this year. We are trying to venture out and do different things than we normally do. So I've got some planning to do. So we'll see what I come up with. So here you're, you'll see me take one of these little square uh, monthly box stickers and just plop it in the kind of center of the month. Um, this one says, find the beauty. Again, very motivational. <laughs> and then I'm just kind of using the stickers that are um, on this page and trying to use them as best I can, so. This one says plans. This is just, again, reminding me to make sure that the plans are finalized for my husband's birthday. If you've got any ideas of what we can do, please drop them in the comment section. I would love to know what you guys do for your hubby during those birthday weekends. apologize again if you guys hear Mac he is you know having to be in the background while I am now just voice overing this so if you hear him um, just know he's living his best life in the background <laughs> so I went ahead and started looking at some of these flowers to kind of fill in some space at the top I kind of wanted to keep it like diagonal because on the bottom left side there's that spring bucket list and it takes up quite a bit of the page so I wanted to have something in the top right corner that would kind of do the same um, again this pastel color scheme for me was just what I needed so bright um, kind of airy kind of fresh a little different than you know in the winter when things are very cold and I tend to use a lot of like darker colors in the winter, which I'm sure most people do, but I love the way that this, um, these flowers looked here. So that is what we went with for this. So it did cover up a couple of the days, but as you can see, and now looking back on the video, you can still see through it. So it's not like it took away too, too much, but again, trying to use up the little bits and pieces from the sticker that I just cut. Um, I find with flowers and leaves, it's really easy to use the other or the, like the scrap pieces of it and just get some of the flowers and leaves to pop out from underneath. I feel like you can't go wrong with that. So already I'm loving how this is starting to look. It's very like light and airy spring, very spring inspired. I promised myself this year that I was going to really try to make things um, more full feel like I don't use a lot of stickers don't use I'm afraid of using bigger ones and stuff like that so I promised I would try and do it now here in a minute you'll see me um, I'm putting down these two little hearts and I kind of put them on top of each other and then I didn't really like the way that it looked um, so you'll see me in a minute take that off and uh, decide to replace it with something different in a little bit <laughs> here's where you see me Mm, I don't like it, so let's take it off. It's also the great thing about using stickers is that you can just take them off and you don't have to worry about, you know, erasing things and changing everything up. It's usually pretty straightforward. So, um, again, I changed it to this <laughs> and this day was really, I was really indecisive because I changed things a couple of times. So this is two of three, and I think the very last one is when I decided to keep it. I just wanted to use more flowers and florals, so flowers and florals are the same thing, but I wanted to use some more actual like flower patterns instead. So you'll see me kind of switch up my book from the color story, and I'm going to move back into that happy year where my spring stuff was. And I'm not sure if it's this book or another one where I found what I actually wanted to use. So again, I've got another one of these little monthly stickers or monthly box stickers, and I'm going to put that over 
the date of the 24th, I've got a very special um, family who I'm doing some photos for. They have been coming to me for years and um, I just love them. So we're going to do a nice family shoot for them, which will be super exciting because I haven't seen them in a while. Um, if you didn't know, outside of my YouTube channel and my full-time job, I'm also a part-time, well, I'm a business owner, but I do it very, very part-time. And uh, recently I've had to kind of slow down on my photography a lot because I travel um, quite a bit for work now, so things kind of change. Not saying I'll never do that, do it again, but I had to take a break right now because I can't be available um, and my work gets me to travel. Um, it's not always like planned far ahead. Sometimes it can be, oh, I need you to meet, leave next week or oh, I need you to leave in a couple weeks. So it was a very hard decision for me to kind of slow down on my passion, but I do really enjoy my full-time job now and I can film while I'm on the road and get these YouTube channels, uh, videos up. So it was kind of, um, one of those decisions that I know that it's not permanent, but we'll have to figure something out once things slow down a little bit. So I'm just adding some of the flowers around just to kind of make it a little more full. Um, you can't really see it on camera, but these little, I think they're like little lavender stems that I'm pulling out. They're really, really pretty in person. They're very um, unique color which I really loved. So, so I'm just going to go ahead and add some more of these little flowers and add some little, I don't, don't even know what these flowers are, um, along the top, just to kind of add a little bit more character. Here is what it's looking like. I went ahead and added those little flowers onto the top. Now here is where you're going to see me kind of fill in that extra space. I wasn't sure how I was going to like it, but it turned out really cute and added some more texture. So again, flowers, if you need to fill in space, you can always layer them on top of each other, which looks really nice. And I to try to keep it the theme, so I went for some nice light pink to some contrasting darker pinks as well, which I feel turned out pretty good. I really like the way this turned out. Um, the other two were just not filling enough space for me, so this worked well. There we go. So again, yeah, it just takes up a lot of the space there, helps to fill things in if you've got a lot of open space. So I got rid of that book and then I'm using the Choose Happy, which is a very old I think this was one of the first ones I ever got, but I do find myself gravitating towards it quite often, especially in the spring months. Now here, I made a little bit of a boo-boo, but I kind of, I kept it. Um, when I was looking at my calendar, I thought I had put in the whole month, and then I realized now that the sticker that I'm putting down is actually covering, I think, two or three days, 